We are here at the Narok County Government, and I'm here with Siantu, who is uh, the marketing director of Narok County Tourism. Yes. So I'd like you to tell me just something, a little something about Narok County. Okay. So Narok is actually placed in the South Rift of Kenya. It's the home of the Maasai Mara. I know most people know about Maasai Mara, but uh, from the Narok town, it's about two hours. Or from Nairobi, it's five to six hours. Well, we have a new road. Anyway, we do host one of the biggest um, reserves in the world, which is Masai Mara, which has won six times um, as the best game reserve in the world, uh, World Travel Awards. So we have the wildlife migration, um, the wild beast migration, which is the seventh wonder of the world that was voted by Good Morning America experts. And it has brought us amazing um, tidings. So we have um, tourists come in from uh, around June to October. That's when the high season is. Uh, we also, you know, during the migration, we also have other wildlife like, you know, lions and we have um, the big five which is an ele elephant, rhino, uh, leopard, a buffalo, and that's leopard, lion. Then there's um, rhino, buffalo, and elephant. Yeah, got it, got it. So we do have that, and we have uh, amazing accommodation. We have security in terms of our own rangers. Uh, this is the only game reserve that's run by the local government. It's not under, but we do work with KWS uh, because it's a trustee land given to us by the community. It's community land given to us as the trustee to manage. So as the tourists come, do you have like a couple of hotels in Narok where they can, you know, just rest themselves as they do their daily views? Yes. So in Masai Mara, we have a couple a couple of um, hotels within the park, just a few, but mostly outside. So the conservancies host the most hotels. So we have amazing properties from, you know, high end to budget camps to middle. It, it fits anyone's budget. So you can literally go to Mara for 9,000 for three days, two nights and budget comes. So I think people just have this mentality that Masai Mara is just for certain people or it's just for white people or people from, you know, um, Western countries. But not, it's not like that. You know, we want to open up the, the doors to even local tourism. Um, we have people from Kenya traveling. We have young millennials traveling to Masai Mara and that's what we want to do. And uh, that's why we're here at MKTE. We want to showcase the possibilities that we have and we do have the security, so um, people should come tomorrow. Okay, for sure. And I see there's a little bit going on with your culture. Just tell us just a tiny bit of it, because, I mean, I have been wanting to wear this. <laughs> well, we, apart from just being the Mara, we actually host the, culture, the cultural people of the Maasai who live within the Mara. So we do practice um, beading. So, and that you can see from our logo, Apart from the wildlife, the people, you know, the beading and the, the cattle and livestock. So this is one of the major things that we do um, in, in terms of beading. We have an organization called Rushanga, which is under the Ministry of Tourism that works with different ladies who do um, beading. Yes, so we, you can find this in Masai Market, you can find this in Narrow County. We're actually selling them, some of them here at our stand. So it's um, what the, what, one of the things that makes our culture beautiful. Yes, and we, w we want to share it with everyone. Yes. Nice. So we have had it from Sianto, from the much you can experience and see in Narok County. So do make your way. Just, just go there. Go to the Masai Mara, to their nice, beautiful hotels, and just enjoy yourself. Thank you.